Blackjack Gabbiani, and I am your host for today, and as you may recall, last time we had a little trouble getting baby Roxy into a crib, and that has been solved. Look at her all in her nice crib like that, yeah? Evan went and dolled it up in nice Team yell s colors for her. It's a little more purple than hot pink, but, you know... Screw it, why not, huh? Just trying to move some stuff around on my desktop so I can see the chat. Alright, so we also, as you recall, Guzmo was having some issues with sudden weight gain. Those extra pounds just seem to sleek up on you, huh? <laughs> Goodness. And it has two hours left, so... Yeah. He's going to be having another alien baby. Piers has a job request, and he says screw it because he cannot do it right now. Mm. Go, go to your bed, Piers. I did get a little... Uh, little I, I went and uh, gave everyone some assignments for some reason... All of my office guys are utterly failing at work, and I, I don't understand. Oh, well, except you. I don't know why you're having a better job, but... Yeah, see, his co-workers on meetings held are still in the negative. Jeez, Guzma. Ah, uh, hello, Ander Andretti? Like the race car drivers? Hello, we have here a little bit of alien pregnancy. <laughs> uh, because of course we do, right? Mop up puddle, you might as well be social. I know it's not spelled the same way as the race car drivers, but I'm assuming it's uh, uh, pronounced roughly the same way. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, you were working out. Cat was sleeping. All right. Cat's always going to try to sleep. There we go. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And you are having a fit right now. Alien pregnancy is crazy. It totally is. Yeah. See, this guy had an alien baby earlier. Uh, since you're new here, you may, uh, I don't know how familiar you are with the Pokemon series, but you may notice that all of the characters I have here, except the cat and the baby, are based on, uh, team bosses from Pokemon. Guzma got himself kidnapped by aliens, and so did Piers, and, oh dear. Again, okay, Cyrus, what are you cooking? Okay. Lucimine is not here. She's on her way, but... Okay, Maxie, what are you doing? Oh, we flirted with. Ooh, nice. Okay, you're holding meetings. You're also going to meet some... Co no, you're going to chat at the water cooler. You... Power work, which you'd think... You're going to suck up to your boss, Rose. Oh, you're asleep. <sighs> All right, fine. So, Andretti, I assume that the uh, ad on uh, Reddit brought you here then, huh? No, you're not gonna... How did... You're gonna continue cooking. And you... You know what? I'm gonna go up here. Search galaxy. <laughs> okay. Baby's still not feeling too hot. 
Ooh. Oily taste from synthesized drink, huh? Fifteen minutes. You know, I realized something here. I don't think I have... Oh, no, I do have audio on. Okay. <laughs> Enter and create a... What? What? Why is this opening this? What? That's really weird. Oh. Oh, that's, that's right. I, uh, I had just told him to go to a mirror. But I don't have to have him go to a mirror anymore because I already replaced his monocle with the correct one. I did not make any changes, so I don't need to undo anything. I got him a better monocle. Oops. And now it is time for the baby. And I've already decided he's going to give the baby back to the aliens. Simply because we're not equipped to handle multiple alien babies. Only Guzma and the aliens know what happened on that UFO, but whatever it was, it left Guzma pregnant. Would you like to raise the alien baby or turn it to grow up on its own world? Parting ways with your child may prevent any future contact with your surprise progeny. I'm sorry. We're sending it to the home world. It spins around, there's the baby. But you cannot keep her. Chaupaze. There she goes. Bye bye. Ah, <sighs> now he's just gonna rant about something. Megaphone's the first thing in his inventory. Rant about the supernatural. There we go. Lusamine, who has two children already, though they're not in this game. Hey, Rival! How you doing? Did you see the baby? <laughs> uh, Cyrus, really? You had more? Just use the bathroom, you dum dum. You just ate, or you just made lunch, but you're eating what Cyrus made instead, huh? Wait a minute. Okay, Rose is going to finally get some decent job performance. Okay. Rival, you didn't answer my question. Did you get to see the baby? We would like to see the baby. Guzma's baby already left. I'm sorry. But Roxy is finally in her crib. Turned out it's like an error with the um with the imaginary friends. React to noisy sim, yeah. Oh, come on. Does she need a diaper change yet? Yes, final handle of Mandalorian for this. Okay. Come on. 
Mm. Okay, a small blue giant star. Tenta sounds like a good name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. You're not going to heckle your own child. His hair changes color when you pan in <laughs> and texture. It seem like he should have facial piercings, so I gave him some, but <laughs> okay, give bottle. Cyrus, what exactly do you intend to do? You are not gonna play with this child. We know you. Prove handiness skill. Oh, hey. Let's see. Alright. Might as well have you discover another potion. Change the diaper. Lysandra is trusted by political officials. Did they make a big mistake? Only time will tell. Okay, now he's gotta go make some meetings. There's this weird um There's this weird glitch where you can only hold meetings at the place that you're actually employed at. And I don't understand it because it shouldn't be that way. Oh, Rose is already back home, huh? No, oh, okay, everyone is... Okay, Archie is slightly insulted. What's going on? Okay. Come on. Rose thinks Archie's being impolite. Okay. Archie, you're going to apologize then. I don't know what it is you did, but you're going to apologize. Talk about Star Tenta. There we go. Page up. So, I heard you had an alien baby. <laughs> uh, yeah? Shut up. No, it was just gas. Chat, come on. Guzma, what are you doing? Oh, for God's sakes. Really? He's standing right in front of you, dummy! Hmm, Lucimine is now able to correlate scientific data. That sounds like a good time, if you're into paperwork. Ask about day. Oh, that should give some juicy results. Oh, tell story. I want to raise the acquaintanceship levels of everyone in the house. Worry about work. There we go. Giovanni's going to be um, artificially warm. Enthuse about cats. Show internet cats video. There we go. Lucy, I mean, discovered how to make a stink juice potion. Okay, clean 
heating up. No, you're going to cook it unless it's gone bad. First off, though, you're going to go there. Okay, continue cooking. Complain about video games. What are you doing? Probably sleeping? Yeah, you, you tend to sleep a lot. I don't know why. Where's Rose? Ah, he's working his way over. He already kind of has that alien pregnancy walk, doesn't he? Okay, Lucy, what are you gonna do? You gonna talk to him again? Okay. No, I want you to make more potions. Make a liquid horror potion and a ghost potion. Let's see, is it either one of those? Nope. Okay, Rose, for God's sakes, come on. I don't think I'm going to use this house again when I... Okay. What is wrong with you, Maxie? Continue cooking! Oh my god. Fine. Get rid of it then. Oh my lord. Oh, his work starts in three hours. That would explain why he's not actually doing anything. So, Rose, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to get Archie something to eat. Deep fried chicken. That sounds good. I want fried chicken. This takes us all the way outside to the garbage. Okay. Who's sick? Guzma, of course. He's got the alien STDs, huh? Sandra wants to play the Rhythmicon, so I might as well send him over here to do so. Okay, what do you want to do? Okay, yeah, you're, you're having fried chicken, that's right. Yep, up, 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 really, you're gonna cook? Okay, forever alone, calzone. Okay, so you have to read a business book that they gave you here. You need to go up and actually eat something. 
Get some of that bread that Cyrus made. That sounds like a good job. So, how are you doing, Rival? Oops. Looks like Lucy had a bit of an accident. Fiddlesticks. This mean failed to discover a potion. Got San Guzma upstairs. Come on, let me scroll over. <laughs> Improve athletic skill, huh? Yeah, man. Where's that little sprite thingy he has? There it is. Hmm. Cyrus has improved his handy skill to level 8. Okay, Lucamine, did you break the... Yeah, and you're gonna repair it too. Repair it. I could go with some repair it. Lissandra falls out of an elevator. <laughs> Gray is a good color on him. Uh, Max Eve also falls out of an elevator. All right. Till three AM. So, aliens, huh? And with Guzma, I have to. Oh, it's not Guzma anyway. Okay. Let's stop. You're gonna put away leftovers. Chiquita is in a fantastic mood. Yay! What an awful name, though. What's something that would suit better? And don't say Rotom. Actually, here. Dead. 
There we go. <laughs> okay. Nothing like cleaning the toilet during dinner. <laughs> suddenly singing that. IDK what happened man. I find it hard to believe that these two don't have a very high friendship level. Playing the video games. Where's the one that got cancelled here? Boast about gamer skills but he already did that. That's funny. Okay, and there's about animals. You know, honestly, it kind of feels like my house is a little too big. it I don't know but oh yeah since Gizus is at work you gotta check in on what he's doing uh, he's going to grovel to the leader because why not he spent years groveling to N right Geo needs to go upstairs and go to bed. Ah, Cyrus has improved his advanced technology skill. Um I've never used the dream pod because I've always run into issues with it. If I ever send these schmucks to the future, you'll see it in action though. Okay, so I'm going to send you up to have some bread or some dinner. And then you're going to go to bed. These are bad animals, then you're gonna come up. Have some pancakes. And then you're gonna go to bed. Okay, and you. You're gonna flush and then you're gonna wash your hands and then you're gonna go to bed too. <laughs> Maxi dreaming of football, really? Oh! Hi! Hi there! Oh my god, I'm so happy to see you again! Hi! Jordan, well, welcome back. We were worried about you. Like, we tried to message you to ask if you were okay, but, you know, Discord does that thing where it doesn't let you message someone if you don't have a Discord in common. Yeah.
Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad to see you again. I mean, you're welcome back in the Villains Discord anytime. Yeah, we were all really worried. Rival! Rival, look who it is! <laughs> Baby, yeah! She can't really do anything yet, so Peters is gonna. So anyway, Jordan, what you uh, may have missed from the streams is Peters had an alien baby. Her name is Roxy. <laughs> Nothing much has changed with Rose. <laughs> Snuggle. Really? You still haven't finished your book, Rose? Really? expecting a welcome back well I mean it's just like what James says we're bad not insensitive <laughs> has been. It's been a few months. Yeah. He's getting stressed out from groveling. Let's conspire with accomplices. That's good to see you again. Goodness. I don't understand why your social is so low. You just played with Maxi for like two hours, right? Rose is not going to be well rested for work. Oh, good. He actually has uh, the day off tomorrow, so that's good. Good, good, good. Stable for a week. Oh, that's awesome. Every little bit counts. Cyrus? No. <sighs> Come on, Cyrus. He's just going to eat plain bread. <laughs> oh, for the longest time. I don't know why I'm so 
singing this. Uh, let me take care of this. Um, how do I get rid of uh, ban? Did that? Okay, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, there we go. It's a good thing Rose doesn't actually work tomorrow, so... Gets this as impressive performance is earned of a promotion of supervillain. Pure evil flows through your supervillainous veins. Uh, innocent fear of the very mention of your name, be it in made for TV horror movies or on the evening news. Nobody's close to the leader than you, nor is anybody as powerful. <laughs> you know what? He wants to make some potions. I'll have him make some potions. <laughs> so you know what I may as well have Cyrus do is clean the house after this may as well does that mean Giovanni doesn't work either and Lissandra no Lissandra does work tomorrow Wait, when has... Does this... Okay, that doesn't seem to have a deadline, so that's good. Otherwise, he'd be at work the whole time for it. <laughs> His bed never seems to work properly. Let's just take in the sight of sleeping peers. Sinking into the abyss, as he constantly is. He'd probably make a really badass song about it. His limbs flailing through his body. <laughs> Alexander is going to have some nice food here. You know, Geo can wake up and spend some time with his cat. Yeah. Why are you... Come on, cat! Eat! Why are you like thrashing your Yeah, I'm aware. But he can't spend time with you until after you eat something. There we go. Oh my god. Why are you here? Oh, Giovanni, come on. Have some standards. Uh, looks like he was going to get woken up by a rude awakening. Okay, Gio, go play with your cat. Sandra needs to do not really just sent him over here uh, 
Okay, and you're doing all right. You need to sleep some more. <laughs> Play computer games. In Cyrus's room! When you all send me a friend request and give an invite when you can, I'd love to come back. Yeah, well, hey, um, let me bring up the invite right now and I'll just post it right here in chat. Okay, let's see. Invite members. Set this link to never expire. Share link. Copy to clipboard. Who achieved what? Cool with the uncool. Yay. Okay, so I will paste the link. There we go. How's that grab you? Oh no, no, shoot, 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 shoot. That is the wrong link. Uh, never mind. That is. I don't know how to delete. I don't know how to delete that it sa it said it saved it to clipboard I don't know what happened I don't know how to just delete um, one message no just delete the one message backspace what, what do I do how could I do this if I mod one of you guys can you get rid of that link I don't even know what that leads to. Oh, geez. Now it's opening up a different window. <sighs> Still doesn't tell me what it... Oh, it leads to the machine abridged I was in earlier. Octopath Traveler episode uh, 5 or something. Which, you know, I'm certainly not opposed to advertising, because I am, in fact, in it. M music on you? Music? Now, I just opened the link, and it said it led to the Octopath Traveler machine abridged. That's really weird. And I don't know why the link that said that it was saving to Clipboard didn't. That's really weird. Okay, come on. Is it actually going to give me the correct one now? Yes. There. Yeah, because I opened that link and it led to Octopath Traveler, so it should not be leading to music. But yeah, I play a one-shot character. I think her name's Natalie. Or Natalia, or something like that. I had to talk like this the entire time! And, oh boy gracious, I make a lot of innuendos. Anyway, we'll just pretend that I was advertising that all along. <laughs> okay, does Guzma have any needs? Yeah, he does. He actually has a lot of them. Okay, so what do you need to do at work? You need to talk with your coworkers. Over right here, you're gonna meet your coworkers. Okay. You're going to apologize. Oh, well, actually, here, no. You're just gonna you're gonna try to ignore it. That's what you do with your problems, isn't it, Lucimine? You ignore them. You pretend that they don't exist. Right, Lucy? Clicky, clicky. Come on. And things about animals. 
click again. Come on. You know the feeling where you have like a hair on like a like a hair from your head on your arm so you have like that kind of long feeling on it and you can't find it anywhere and no amount of brushing will get rid of it that's what I'm having right now Okay, Alexander, I see you down here now. Okay, your social is a lot higher. Okay, no, you're going to scratch. You're going to scratch, then you're going to use. Okay, and you, old man, are going to come down here and you're going to have something to eat. I got rid of the pancakes, huh? <sighs> okay. Rose never did go to the bathroom last night, huh? Okay, you're gonna take an extreme bubble bath until you're extremely clean. Okay. Jeez, your social drops so fast. Okay. okay I'm going to send you over here to take a shower. And by then, she should be awake. I think I will uh, give her a bit of an upgrade today. By which I mean today, I will age her up. How's that sound to all of you, huh? No need for that. Ah, see, look, <laughs> he's starting to stink a little. This is where Oleana would step in and, I don't know, spray him down with deodorant or something. But Oleana ain't here. Here we go. A little bit of cheesecake. Who's, who's around him? There we go. He's going to have a nice bubble bath with a nice rubber duck. I think. Isn't that a rubber duck right there? And you can't really see anything, but... <laughs> Oh God, it's just no. Okay, uh, pause. Then you're going to clean the house again. Okay, you were hungry. That's right. Say no. We're going to have some quote-unquote juice.
Then you're gonna go back to bed. Okay. Everyone wants to take care of this baby, huh? By a water slide, Maxi. You want to clean it, but Well, have you work on the booth. You want to make a stink juice potion and a liquid horror potion. Uh, you can't teach logic class because it's not. It's not uh, during your hours. You do, however, want to prepare a meal, so. Come on, I have it set that anyone can make any meal they... Well, I guess it's kind of set for that, huh? Oh, he wouldn't make mac and cheese, would he? I don't know, it's difficult. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, I get it, okay? You wanna... Try to handle this baby, but maybe you can't. Maybe you just can't. Lissandra's company is losing people due to low morale and archaic business practices. Lissandra can either improve morale by giving raises, which will make the lower workers happy enough the bosses, or try some team building workshops, which will do the opposite. So Lissandra raises the raises or workshops. Well, it depends on the source of the lore morale, doesn't it? Okay, people, I need you to vote on what I should do. Raises or workshops? Give me a good vote. Give me a good vote. Hey, how's it going? I, well, uh, Ascent 04, uh, it's going all right. We're having a vote right now as to what we should do with the subject matter on the screen. Lissandra's company um, wants him to decide whether or not to give raises to the lower workers or to try some team building workshops. What should we do? Because it doesn't seem like either of those is really going to fix the underlying issue. So, guys, come on. I know you're here. So, I would like to have some input on this, you guys. Team building sounds like a good idea, yeah. Kind of does. Workshops, yeah. All right. Well, that's two for workshops. All right. Seems like we're going with workshops then. Okay. Lissandra's hard work is, uh, and effort has paid off to the tune of a permanent extra 19 simoleons per raise per hour. Uh, the process is tedious for everyone, but a lot of good comes out of it. The manager is impressed and gives Lissandra a raise for the innovative idea. Awesome. Okay, there we go. We're gonna give her snuggle, play with, give her a bottle. Bottle, I said. You busy, huh? <laughs> you know, since this whole sorcery room never really panned out. Do you think we should just make that into a bedroom for Roxy? You are going up 
to repair it right now. You know what I'm gonna do with you? Everything's in pretty good shape with you. So I'm going to send you Oh, this is a house. Never mind. But I'm gonna send you fishing. I mean, you might as well. Ooh, okay. Dark Yell is going to go performing. Which means that he's going to have to, um,. Eat something first. What? No, what? Do, do. <laughs> Tend garden. Uh, yes. Okay. Twenty-five days until winter. It is seventy-seven F out. Right, Rose. Rose needs some food. Yeah, the house is a little too big. It's actually a lot too big and it actually interferes with the ability of sims to do things yeah see there we go rubber duckies make hygienic cleansing fun rubber ducky you're so fun you make bath time a lot so fun you're the one, you make bad time off the fun. That's for the years. Okay, Guzma, what are you doing? Okay. Just so long as you remember to wash your god dang hands. And we're gonna watch you. No, you are not washing your hands, huh? There's a lot of pausing in this game. Change a dirty diaper. You got a little time, you can go do that. What do you do? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, and you, you know what? You can go in here and feed Anne Marie the sea bat. <laughs> hey, Lucy, no. The, the whole house doesn't have to pile downstairs. Why does the baby look like that? Because she is an alien baby. Pierce was abducted by aliens and ended up pregnant, so... Yeah, that's why she's gray and all kinds of stuff. Gray slash green. 
Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of sus. I asked on the uh, Mod The Sims forums if there's any way to, if there's any mods to make it um, where you have to agree to be impregnated <laughs> because uh, honestly it comes off a little rapey. Not just a little, kind of a lot. <laughs> So, yeah, someone was like, well, you're, they're already abducting you. And it's like, yeah, there's a reason those are two different crimes. Because there are two different crimes. Uh, but alas. Just kind of one of those things they didn't really put a whole lot of thought into. They're aliens in a video game. What do you expect? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe something a little, you know, maybe not morally upstanding, but at least not, you know, all of that. Giovanni has just improved his logic to level six. Giovanni's brain had grown immensely recently and only in the good way. Rumors are circulating about Giovanni's mental capabilities, but doubts still remain. Is Giovanni destined for the top of the Cranial Collective? <laughs> okay. We got a jog back. And then you're going to take a bubble bath. <laughs> Giovanni is literally big brain. Okay. Okay, Flying V's Coffee House is this place. Oh, over here. Go to your gig location. Yay, gig location. <sighs> Sandra is not having any fun. Let's send him to the movies. Oh yeah. I should show you, yeah, Archie's workout gear. He's got a kilt and a tank top with like a necklace. I'm not sure what it is really, but... <laughs> and of course, you know, like piratey boots. What are you doing? Rose, what are you doing? A kilt, the perfect thing to wear in the rain. One of Rose's traits is that he's a daredevil. Okay. Actually, here, Geo. Since you need the shower too, just do this. Just ate something off the floor, huh? Okay. Out right there. <laughs> Check self out. This is a recolor of a mirror, so. Okay. 
Okay. Perform for tips. No, you have a gig in a few minutes. Yeah, here's his gig wear. He really does pull his guitar out of his hair. Okay, but you have a gig, dude. You got like two lines out before your gig started. Dum dum. Aren't you getting more fun? Maxi, really? Hi, baby bird. Athena's chirping at me. Oh my goodness. So yesterday I got her up and uh, her nice long red tail is gone. There's like two little feathers, two little scraggly feathers of red and the rest of them are just gone. It's snipped right off. Where is it? Just to include his logic skill to level two. Uh, custom. Always use his custom one. I always, I always tell you that. Oh my god, it's gonna make me set it up, even though I give very specific instructions every time. What happened to her? To to who? Oh, to my bird. Um, she bites her feathers. And it's really, really obnoxious. She doesn't really bite herself. She bites her feathers. And it sounds like it's like a lot different or it's it sounds like it's pretty much the same, but it it really isn't. She just kind of does it. Yeah, she was sick when she was a little bitty baby. Well, not little bitty baby, but she was like two. And uh, she's almost 24. So... Oh my god, I still have the ice cream shop venue here. Okay, no, because it's not saving anyway. And I don't want the ice cream shop venue here. But yeah, she started picking at her feathers when she was sick. She had a crop infection, which is like like a pre-stomach in birds. And uh, so she started picking her feathers over that. And now she still just kind of... She picked up on doing that, and it really, uh... Guzma just learned logic. So she kind of picked up on doing that, and... Mm. A dramatic story. 
perform song suddenly got a cowboy hat to it. chirping get annoying after a while no actually I love the chirping it's only obnoxious when she does it right in my ear which hurts like crazy Sandra to jog home. I think that might be good for him. Get some of that stress out. Don't break a sweat. And there's a guitar in the main room here. There it is. <laughs> Woo! High CPU usage detected. Yeah, you think? I have to have my fan on all the time. Which isn't so bad right now, but... When it starts getting really cold, it's going to be very obnoxious to have the fan on all the time. a really good concert. Awesome. You know what? He wants to work out until fatigued, so I'm going to send him jogging home, too. Jog here with Flair. Don't break a sweat. Cyrus, what are you... Okay, you're hungry. Okay, that looks like a good arrangement there. The cat wants something from Gethus, and I... Oh, wants to sniff him. That sounds like a good idea. You really need to keep the fan on as often if it's really cold already. Well, the computer doesn't seem to care. Sniff and hiss at. <laughs> I'm gonna have you, uh... There we go. Rose, what are you up to? Okay, you're still playing chess. You just want to discover any potion, huh? 
Okay. Oh, actually, wait. You want to pick up your phone. Um, Alright, that sounds good. Go for a walk. It's too cold to go for a walk. She goes, go for a walk. Okay, Maxie's going to be a good parent. Ooh, okay. You are also hungry, but unlike the baby, you don't have to depend on anyone to feed you. He's going to be hanging around outside going, Wah. Rose, what did you do to the toilet? Uh, his pants are going through his jacket. Look at that. His... His butt is clipping through his jacket. No, Lucy, you're not going to adopt a horse. Here's what you can do, though. You can improve your laser rhythmicon skill. How far are you? Oh, just up the road. That's not so bad at all. Okay, Cyrus, go to bed then if you're that sleepy. The Actually, here. There. Clean that up in the sink, you know, Geo. Neo Geo. <laughs> Weirdest thing on a live stream I've ever come back to the butt. Geo can just go and go to bed. again. No, it didn't seem to. Pierce has just improved his athletic skill to level 5. Better, stronger, faster. Rose, we're not going to run into the same problem we ran into yesterday. So you're going to eat something now, and you're going to go to bed. D wrong way. I'm 
I can adopt any more pets right now, Lucy. Bed, Geo. I mean it. You really gonna change a diaper, Hitsus? Really? You? You. I mean, his move for laser rhythmicon skill to level two. Yay! And the fans went wild. Yay! We just went kapoof. I really need to set up a second kitchen down there so people don't have to keep coming all the way up here, huh? Okay. What's going on, Archie? I'm going to continue cooking. I mean it. Is the stove unusable all of a sudden? <sighs> I don't understand what's happening. They just pick it up and they don't do anything with it. Maxie's using the stove. How is he using the stove? What is Maxie doing with the stove? Okay, live mode, come on. Did I tell Maxie to cook? Or to do anything with the stove? No, he... Oh my god! What is wrong with this dumb game? Nobody is using the stove! Ugh. I've reset him how many times now? Nobody is using the stove! No one! He is nowhere near it, you dumb game! This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. He's nowhere near it. Why does it act like he's somewhere using it? Oh my god. I just... I want to beat this thing against a wall. I want to hold down whoever is responsible for these goddamn glitches and just... 
I don't understand any of this. How is this possible? Why does the game constantly do this? It's so infuriating. The only thing I can think to do is reset the lot, and that gets rid of everything. That, that like, gets rid of everything that people are working on and all of that. <sighs> Guys, why did everyone stop talking? Is anyone still here? Yeah, I got a lot of people here. Kingstay X, Ms. Lenity, Ryothkis. Hi. And that's just people who haven't said anything yet. So, hi. You want to you want to talk? I'm always open for talking. Guys, I know that was kind of uncomfortable to listen to, and I'm sorry. I just get really, really furious at this game. And, you know, I really do would I would really like people to say things in chat. I don't... You know, it's, it's, it's really frustrating. to Atura. No, come on. No, I don't. Settings? No, that's for the house. I just no, what are you what are you doing? No. I don't want Sim all. I just want her. Is anyone here? Guys, it gives me really high anxiety to think that I'm talking to an empty room. Okay? Or that people are listening and not saying anything. Okay, and you just saw what happened when I got high anxiety, okay? Okay? I want to age her up. How do I do that again? Trigger inch transition. Yes.
Are we going to actually do it? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Have birthday, there we go. It's Roxy's birthday, not really, but can we can we Yay? And now I can actually give her a good editing. Return and create a household, yes. Guys, once again, is anybody here? Please just talk, okay? I have never been able to get so much as five people talking in chat at once, and I don't understand that. I mean, people communicate. It's what we do. Yes, you missed quite a bit, okay? I had kind of a meltdown because it it's glit the whole, the, the kitchen is glitching up. I've been begging people to talk in chat because I know there are at least five people here and nobody is saying anything. This isn't the one I want. I want the one that actually... I didn't make any changes. I want the one that's gonna get... Let me give her some hair. Also, Roxy aged up. What's there not to make on this bed? Or what's there to make on this bed? Whatever. I just, you know, it gives me really high anxiety when I talk and I talk and I talk and I know there are people listening, but they don't say anything in return. You know, it's really kind of distressing. There are not 2,000 vehicles in Barnacle Bay, dude. I don't know where you're getting that from. See, the stove is glitched. It keeps saying that it's in use by Maxi. Maxi's in bed. I reset him even, and it still claimed that it was in use by him. So it's just, it's really distressing. 
You no, know, no, I tried. I tried. It said I couldn't do it because it was in use by him. Hmm. Master controller. Stylist. Let's see. Let's see if this will actually work. Because I want to give her hair. So how have you been today? Just tell me anything about anything. Close the game and reopen it. Well, th the problem is that would take over an hour. It would take so long to do. Like, this game takes me an hour to load. How's this look, huh? That alone would piss me off. Yeah, it does. Very much so. Remember, I have backseat gaming set to on, so you guys can talk to me about anything you want. Trying to do some homebrew stuff at D and D Beyond, and it's not working out very well. Any advice? I haven't used D and D Beyond because it makes you buy all the source books through them, even if you already own them. So it's kind of, I don't know, con artisty. I mean, I guess you get what you pay for, so it's not really a con art. But still, if you already own the books, you still can't use them unless this site has a record of you buying them through them. So, yeah, I don't have much experience with it. Come on. Why isn't makeup loading? Are there no makeup options? I want to do something with those bulging eyes. Come on. 
Come on, I only got a few minutes left in the stream anyway. Come on. I don't want it to be spent on a loading screen. Oh my god, of course. Well, where... Can we, can we maybe see a little something, huh? It's fair, I only like using because everything I need is there and I don't have to keep referencing a book whenever I forget something. Yeah, that makes sense. Why isn't this making any sense? Why can I not change those giant bug eyes? It's like everything is behind them or something. I don't understand this. The eyes are not changing. I don't understand this. We'll just pass this off as like alien markings, right? Make sure the bug eyes are permanent. I, I don't know. I got another alien kid to look more natural in another save. Like, she, you can actually see pupils and sclera and stuff on her. So, I don't understand... Oh, that's just tops. That's right, I got some goth type dresses and stuff. You gonna maybe show them to me? Come on. C come on! I have no idea this game is so buggy and weird. Yeah, I know, right? Yes, I have custom Pokemon nighties. <laughs> Let's see how this works. Because as it is right now, she doesn't look like a toddler. She looks like a very small adult. You gonna show me? You gonna show me anything? Mm. Looks a lot better than she did when she was a baby, yeah. more than that. Just 
She's getting bigger. Run! It's not even usually this slow. And it's usually extremely slow. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. It's just like a tiny little Joan Jet. <laughs> oh no, it's going to load the shoes all over again. This is just going to take forever, ain't it? Ain't it? Oh, come on. I know you have more formal tops than this. Come on. Come on! <sighs> I think that one for a good formal design. No, that's not what I picked. So sleepwear. Come on. I don't know why those of all things always show up. They're not the only default ones. In fact, they're not even default. They come with an expansion. There we go. Punk rock, baby. There you go. My dad rocks. Glasses up with the bug eyes or would it just glitch out more? I don't think it would glitch. But uh, I don't think it would look good. Not right now anyway. I guess I wouldn't know if those showed up in it every day because I stopped looking. Oh well. There's no full body swimsuits? That's kind of odd. Come on. Yeah, I don't think glasses would really do anything. I think it would just, they'd just kind of sit there. Come on. 
Come on. This can't be it. Seriously? Come on. Oh yeah, it loads the sim point stuff too. You'd think it would put priority on that. Well, that can't be it. Come on. No, yeah, this has a kind of UK style to it. So I think I'll just go with this. Or maybe this bright yellow one. <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay, so once I get, no, once I get this finished, then I will be ending the stream, oh, for crying out loud, really? Then I will be ending the stream, and, hmm. Okay, well that looks a little better. Okay, so I still don't understand why I can't edit the eyes, but that's looking good. Actually, now that she leveled up, or aged up, isn't she... Aren't I supposed to be able to pick more traits for her? Yeah, right now she's just clumsy and good. Okay. Okay. So, well, that's good for now. Uh, uh, yes. So, um, right now we're going to be raiding someone. Uh, not sure who. Hmm. You know what here? How about we raid Taterholic? She's streaming Super Mario World, and if I know her, it's probably going to be a Kaizo version. So, let's go. Yep, yep, that's a Kaizo version, all right. Let's go raid her. Uh, thanks for coming, and I uh, hope to see you again next time. Uh, stop.